Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your compatibility reading for if you are in a relationship or going to be in a potential relationship with a Capricorn. Um, if this reading resonates, if you'd like a personal reading in regards to your relationship or whatever, just send me an email and we can go ahead and work that out. Otherwise, let's see what's going on. So a relationship with a Capricorn is actually rated one of the best relationships. Um, the reason why this would actually work out is because you really like the sense of security that they provide for you and how they keep things very ordered. So they're very organized and very ordered and that's something that really appeals to you. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight in regards to a relationship or potential relationship between a Cancer and a Capricorn. What do you see in regards to a relationship between a Cancer and a Capricorn? Any messages would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Alrighty, can you please show me what Cancer's energies are in this relationship with the Capricorn? The Four of Cups in reverse. Can you please show me what Capricorn's energies would be in this relationship? The King of Pentacles and the Upright. <laughs> can you show me what lies between them, whether it be for better or worse? We have the Page of Pentacles in the reversed. And how is this relationship most likely to move forward? The Lover's Card in the Upright. So see what I mean? You really, really, it's a great combination. Okay. Um, I will be leaving a link below for, I'll be pulling clarifiers on the Vimeo reading in the link below. Right now I'm just going to go over the these cards, okay? Um, alrighty, so the Four of Cups in regards to your energy. Um, it was kind of funny, I, I kind of get from this guy, I mean, even though it's in the upright, I don't know, I kind of get him being like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> like. <laughs> I mean, like this stubbornness, like there's things there's there's because you guys don't want to balance a checkbook. You don't want to like do anything mundane like that. You're like, I really don't want to. I don't want to. I just want to create. I want to be creative. I want to sing. I want to dance. I want to paint. I want to do all this other stuff. I don't want to do any of that other stuff. But I got I don't want to. But not like in a not like in a, you know, a, a rude way. Um, and, and I think that's that's part of what this unison is about. You have found someone that will take care of that for you, okay? Um, you know, the Four of Cups is very much like a card of inaction, limbo, um, you know, not not seizing opportunities around you um, because you're not kind of seeing them, you're not being aware of them. And the only way that change is going to happen is if you make it happen. Well, I don't think you want to make the change happen in regards to these matters. So you're just kind of... Um, like I said, you want to represent the creative the creative part of this relationship, I feel like. Um, now, Capricorn's energy is over here, the King of Pentacles. That's totally fine with them because that puts them in the position of uh, reliability and being mature. I mean, this King of Pentacles, he's the person that makes sure that he's the rock, that he's stable, that he's setting up the investments and everything for the long term. Um, and, and he's making sure he's always thinking a long term. So, I mean, the king of the Capricorns here are just thinking about everything practical and they're fine with that. That's actually something that they like to wear. They like to do. So it works out really well. You need a rock and here it is. Maybe they need a little creativity and have a little fun from time to time and get a little bit emotional. And you're going to kind of teach them how to do that. Now, Page of Pentacles in reverse is, again, I mean, I'm not saying this to offend you. I feel like it's it's you guys. I feel like there is this little, this immaturity that when it comes to practical matters and stuff like that, you don't want to do them. You will avoid them at all costs. And, um, and I think that this blocks a lot of goals. And I think that this can frustrate the Capricorn sometimes. Like, you know, can we, can we sit down and figure out what we're going to do here for the for the, for the mortgage, for the house or whatever. And you're just like, oh, okay. Can we just kind of do that another time? And they see you as this page of pentacles, just feeling like, okay to do that. Um, but then stopping these long-term goals from happening because you need to participate on a lot of these things. So that that's what kind of lies between you. And that's actually, you know, for the, for the worst. So, um, but as you move forward, we have the card of Gemini, which is the lover's card in the upright. So this is a fantastic match. I mean, look, the little, little, oh, the glowing heart above it and you guys are like holding hands and looking at each other so I mean ultimately you're going to move forward um 
very positive love, very strong connection, um, being vulnerable to one another, I mean, one each other like no other, having an incredibly strong energy cord, and it really is going to be a very fulfilling and loving relationship, I feel like, um, in moving forward. So that's what I have for the, you know, first coat of paint. If you want to see the second coat of paint, just click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling clarifiers. We'll go a little bit more in depth into this. Otherwise, if it resonated, consider a personal reading. Good luck to you all. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.